Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Fallout. We have arrived at the hub, a new place to tax. And before we get to that, let me uh, go ahead and grab. Get, get. Thank you. Uh, let's see. I want to make sure that I have some stuff on me that I can sell. Cash. Um. Feeling a little bit overloaded, so I'm wondering what I should move off. I got a lot of ammo, and that's part of it. I don't really need all this ammo, I don't think. Well, having the uh, armor on me will be good. All right, so let's uh, actually. Uh, what time is it? Ah, oh, it's literally midnight. Uh, let's wait until morning. And 30 minutes. There we go. See, police officer of the hub. Greetings, stranger. Thank you. Hello? You see Luke. A named person. Yes, how can I be of service? Uh, what is this place? This is the hub. It is a trade center for the wastes. It's the biggest city I know of, and you can find just about anything you could want here. And if you're looking for work, this is the this is the place to be. It seems like just about everyone here is looking to hire you for something. Like, uh, are you literally saying the exact same stuff as uh, John? Water chip. Wow, you got me on that one. I've never heard of one of those. Maybe you should check the general store downtown. They may be able to help you. All right, let's see. Barter. You got nothing. All right. Uh, he's basically saying the same stuff that uh, John had. All right, thank you. Goodbye. Uh, anyone else? These are all caravan drivers. Yep. All right. Well, we got a building here. Let's pop around the back. Alright, nothing interesting there. Alright. Should be a door here. Thank you, Tycho. You, uh... <sighs> Never mind, Ian. There we go. Dog meat, like, close the door on me. There we go. Hello. Why, hello there, my friend. Welcome to the hub. Let me introduce myself. They call me Dan the Brahmin Man. I wheel and deal with all the merchants around here, offering my humble services for a low, low price. So now, what can I do for you? Uh, what services do you offer exactly? Ah, uh, first, let's barter. Do you have anything good? I'll, I'll take stim packs. No, you don't. You've got nothing. Nothing at all. What services uh, do you offer exactly? Well, I manage the care for pretty much all the caravans, wagons, and Brahmin in these parts. If they ever need anything for their caravans, I'm the one they talk to. Hell, the big three deal with me exclusively. Who are the big three? Damn, honey, have you been locked up all your life in a cave or something? You, you can kind of say that. The big three are the three largest merchant groups in the world. Well, okay, maybe not the world, but they sure as hell cover a large portion. About as far as your eye can see. Damn yourself, you Brahmin freak. Oh, them. I thought you were talking about something else. So how do I join a caravan? Well, I don't have any openings, but you might want to check with the big three. There's a job post in the merchant market that might be of some help to you. That's where they and others get their men. Oh, uh, sorry, and women, of course. You don't have any openings? Are you a merchant, too? Well, not exactly. I work very closely with most of the smaller merchant groups, though, and I know we're not hiring. So where was this merchant market? Just go straight down this road. Smack dab in the center of the hub. Can't miss it. Already. And what about you, lady? Dan's wife. I'm sorry, you need to speak with my husband. 
Well, I think that I need a quick save. Nothing. Come on, people. I'm an avatar. I need things to tax. This guy's got to be, like, prime uh, spot for getting attacked. I mean, he's, like, right there on the uh, outskirts of town. Anything interesting in here? Nope. And there is a wall of corrugated metal. Let's see. Deputy Fry. Hello. Hello, friend. Deputy Tony Fry at your service. What is this place? Oh, a newcomer. Welcome to the hub. You've reached the biggest city on the coast. Heck, maybe the biggest city in the world, for all we know. I thought you were part of the caravan. Did you come in with them? Uh, no, I didn't. Well, that's surprising. Eh, it's been pretty rough out there, especially with the missing caravans. But you're safe now. Just stay away from the Maltese Falcon. They're a bunch of troublemakers, Decker and his crew. Uh, who's Decker? He owns the Maltese Falcon in the merchant market, but I wouldn't associate with him if you want to stay out of the trouble. He's nothing but a murdering animal. But the sheriff won't let me arrest him without proof. Uh, what was that about missing caravans? It's a tragedy, really. Some caravans have turned up missing. Butch over at the Fargo Traders is offering a reward for information or something. You should check at the merchant market if you're interested. Where can I make some money? Why, that would be at the merchant market, a few miles south of here. Two of the caravan houses are located there. A third is further south. I'd recommend the Fargo Traders. They pay well, and they're not too crazy. Do you know where I could find a water chip? My vault's chip malfunctioned. We need to find another immediately. Water chip? Well, I've never heard of one. If it has to do with water, though, you should talk to the water merchants. Their, headquartered, their headquarters are located further south, past the downtown area. I have a crime to report? Really? Do I? Oh, I guess I do. Uh, Iguana Bob. Uh, where are the shops? Uh, that's hard to miss. It's by far the busiest part of the town. The merchant market is a few miles south of here. A few miles? You'll be most interested in the northern section. That's where most of our locals buy and sell to the public. Alright. Let's see, where's our work around here? Nope. Uh, I don't know if I want to do this just yet. Alright, we'll try it. Really? I, uh, you should talk to the sheriff. I can't leave my post right now. I've got to uh, fend off any raiders that might come. Plus, I'm not very good with reports. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's, that's kind of funny. Hello again, I hope you like our town. Lovely ladies such as yourself is always welcome. If you should decide to stay, I'm sure you would find you would make a valuable addition to the hub. Um, uh, Barter, what do you have? You have, holy cow, 5mm jacket hollow point. You have a machine gun, don't you? Well, I want all of that. I will pass on the... And that's going to be too valuable. Stop moving. God damn it, Tycho. All right, let's grab both of those. I'm at my carrying capacity. At least as far as that's concerned. I can get that. Can I get the sledgehammer? No. Uh, I wish I could see how much the sledgehammer weighed. You hold on to that. You hold on to that. You hold on to that. No, I'm still at my maximum, my carrying capacity. Can I 
Grab one of those. Nope. Alright. Let's try bartering. bartering. I want all of the stim packs. It's 250. What about the sledgehammer? 370. Yeah, sure. Well, I know where to go if I want machine gun ammo. What am I at? 80. Alright, that's good. Yeah, obviously the sledgehammer is expensive. Oh, the door was open. My mistake. Hello? Welcome to the hub. Eh, don't mind me. Um, I'm just here to check to see if you paid your uh, your taxes. No, just don't don't mind me at all. It's just a bathroom. Ian. Ian. Move your butt. Move your big butt. Oh, about time you moved out of the way. It's just a window there. All right. All right, so there's nothing there. Got green armor. Hello, farmer. I need better soil. Eh, don't we all? Don't we all? Hey, a bookshelf. Is there anything on it? No. Still, that's kind of convenient. Uh, you know, it might be a convenient place to uh, leave stuff that I want to keep. Um... don't actually want to, like, get rid of. Where's the door here? Right there, looks like. Hello? Welcome to my humble house. What can I do for you? Well, first of all, what do you have? You've got 11 caps. That's not really worth it. Uh, could you tell me a little bit about the hub? It is a sprawling city, the largest I have seen in my life. The center of the town lies to the south, with the other areas branching off in each direction from there. Where can I find supplies? I get everything that I need from Mitch down at the Maltese Falcon. Just head south from here. If I was looking for a job, where would a good place to where would be a good place to start? I occasionally do a stint in one of the caravans that head out from here. If you're looking for that kind of work, just talk to one of the trading houses. I'm partial to the Fargo traders. But I've worked with all of them. Can I ask you another question? Uh, we're going to find some ammo and weapons around here. Well, I buy most of my stuff from Beth over in the weapons store. But a pretty good selection. What would I do if I was looking for something a little more exotic? I've heard there's some guy over in Old Town that deals with stuff with a little more punch. Uh, what do you do around here? I get by. I hire on with the caravans when I'm a little short on cash, and I work for the farmers down south a bit. Uh, who's the law around here? Well, you probably pass Deputy Fry on your way down here. His boss is Sheriff Green, and you'll find him in the police station most of the time. Alright, thanks for the info. Uh, now, more importantly, uh, I need to ensure that uh, your... Shelves are in order. They are. 
They are. That is that is good. I'm I'm uh, glad that uh, everything's fine there. All right. So I understand that uh, one of the reasons why all of the buildings are single story in this game is because they didn't program in levels, but. I find it very strange that literally every single building is one story. Hello? Mr. Farmer? You need better soil, huh? Why did I become a farmer? Uh, because you like getting your hands dirty? Like playing in the dirt? I don't know. Why are you asking me? Dog meat. Nothing on the, nothing in the stuff. All right, well, let's uh, head further into uh, town. Okay, can you look at the sign? A signpost. Sign on this post looks a little rusty. You don't say. See shells. Nope, can't do anything with them. All right. Oh, this is a sign of the Fargo traders. All right. Fargo traders run by Butch Harris. He's Otne Ute Itbra, if you catch my meaning. Not too bright. All right. Well, first of all, let's check the shelves. Mind me, just need to uh, ensure that everything is in uh, proper order on your shelves and in your desk. Yep. All right. That's good. Busy right now. Talk to Rutger. He'll be, he'll let me know if you're worth seeing. All right. All right, Mr. Howard. I'd like to talk to you. Hello and welcome to the Fargo Traders. How may we, how may we help you? Uh, can you transport water? Well, we can transport water, but it will cost you. How much do you need, and where is it going? I need enough to supply a vault. It's up north, past Junktown in the mountains. I need it all! Someday, I'm going to transform the face of the planet. You'll see. A whole vault? Are you nuts? We don't have that kind of access to that much water. Plus, I wouldn't want to go into those mountains. We've got plenty of missing caravans. You don't? Is there someone else who can? Oh, sorry, you're not from around here. The water merchants handle all the damn water in this town. I wouldn't even bother trying to deal with them. They're a bunch of vultures. Where would I find them? Can't miss them. They're south of here, all barricaded in with that damn water tower. So what do you do around here? I'm in charge of the... I, I mean, I help with the Fargo traders. If anyone messes with us, I'm the one they go to... They will answer to. We, we trade wares between all the different settlements. What sort of things do you trade? Well, I would trade just about any, everything you can think of. Chems, tires, guns, bullets, food, brahmin, dirt, even scraps of metal. Dirt, scraps of metal. You'd be surprised what's you'd be surprised at what's in demand out there. Something that's taken for granted in one place may be a highly sought after commodity to settle ten miles away. Sounds good. Do you need help? You're looking for work, are you? I you look all right. Uh, I should probably talk to Butch. He's through the door behind me. Okay. And you appear to be a different person. Yeah, it's just a caravan driver. Tycho, out of my way. Ian, thank you. What do you want? Oh, hi. You have a face. Uh, I need to ask you a few questions. Well, first of all, let's barter.
Eh. I don't know that I care about buff out. I don't actually have any armor on me anyway. Let's bump back to talk. Uh, I need to ask you a few Time questions. Time is money, chit chat is not money. You hear about the job or what? Uh, yes? Hot damn, someone with guts. Done and done. Go talk with my second, Rutger, and get the details. Wait, I have some questions about this job first. <sighs> don't spoil it. Make them quick. How much does it pay? Uh, Rutger will handle that. Uh, he does all the trivial stuff with the Fargo traders. Now get on out, because I got work to do. Uh, one more question, okay? Just one. You notice that he seems tense. Just how stupid are you? Oh, that seems... You seem tense. Want to talk about Listen, it? Listen, I don't have time to swap stories with you. All right, fair enough. Can I talk to you again? What do you want? Time is money, chit chat is not money. You hear hot damn, someone <sighs> don't spoil uh, it. Uh what is well, the job? Some caravans have been disappearing on us lately. Damn if anyone can figure out what happened to them. Bet you didn't even look for them. Uh so what do you want me to do? Simple. Find out who's doing it and tell me. Or take them out. Makes no damn difference to me. Just get that job done. Any clues on who's doing this? Well, there's uh <clears throat> something. But I never listen to those rumors. Look, this is an RPG. Rumors are always true. So, what is the rumor? You, uh, you really want to hear it, huh? Yes. Well, some say it's the Death Claw. But, but I don't know nothing about that. How do I find out about the Death Claw? Idiot. Go talk to Beth. She knows more about that crap. Yep, you're as scared as whip dog. All right, I'll go check it done out. And done. Now get on out of here, but come back and talk to me when you found something. Okay. Don't don't stand in the way. Oh god. Oh god, guys, guys. All right, fine. Come in. Come in. Come into the room. Thank you. Job pays five hundred hub bucks when you can. Uh, when you can tell Butch exactly what has ha been happening to all the caravans that have disappeared recently. So, collect any proof that you might find. I personally think... I personally think it's... Uh, those damn water merchants or those gun freaks at the Brotherhood of Steel. Butch thinks it's some claw, claw of death or something. Check with Beth. She would know more about that. What's the Brotherhood of Steel? They're really strange. They worship technology or something like that. They have a hell of a lot of firepower. They could easily take out a caravan. They're to the northwest. What do you know about the Deathclaw? Oh, yeah, Deathclaw, whatever. They're all crazy. It's just people's imaginations getting carried away. There's no ghost or monster or whatever it's supposed to be. Just stick with reality and you'll be fine. So, where's Beth? Beth ri Beth's right out that door to the right. She runs our weapon shop. Tell her you're working for us and you'll get a 15% discount. Sweet! Thank you. I'm not sure if that means that way. Probably, because there doesn't appear to be anything that I can do in there. Or there, for that matter. Where the hell is a door on this? Oh, part of it was because uh, it was all... Uh, ...in darkness. Hey, the police! Oh, the door was closed. My bad. Uh, let's quick save before we uh, start uh, checking their uh, shelves for... You know, make sure that they've got everything in order here. Everything appears to be in order. It's locked. Apparently I can go uh, open that door. Let's go do that. That door is locked. All right. Sweet. What goodies are on here? Nothing. 
Any people in the cells? Oops. I apparently have just let out some people. Nobody knows... Nobody knows the trouble I seen. What are you looking at? Uh, just you. Hello? Where's my bread and water? Uh, I don't have it. I don't want to unlock the door right in front of them, so let's not do that. Let's see. Deputy Kenny. Police officer. Sheriff Justin Green. Hello, ma'am. The name's Justin Green. I'm the sheriff of this fine city. Is there something I can do, do for you this fine day? Uh, just stop. Uh, I have a crime to report. I'll spit it out. Sorry, I can't tell you. I'd be dead. Couldn't have that, but if you ever change your mind, please let me know. It's a dangerous place out there, and somebody has has to stand up for what's right. Oh, I guess I can't uh, actually report. If you have business with the hub police, please talk to Sheriff Green. I only take care of his duties when the sheriff is unavailable. Alright. Fair enough. A bulletin board. What do we have? Need work? The Fargo traders are currently... Fill in the following positions. 1. Caravan guards. Must be in good physical condition and dependable. 2. Special position. Must be observant and willing to travel in dangerous territory. Own weapons and ammo required for all jobs. Inquire with Rutger at the Fargo Trader's Office. Alright, well, we've already done that. Anything in the dresser? Nope. What about the uh, shelves? Nope. Man, these play these people suck. Bob's Iguana Bits. Hi, welcome to Bob's Iguana Bits, a family eating place. Can I take your order? Give me an iguana and a stick. What can you tell me about a water chip? Never seen any of them around. Water merchants don't need them. Water merchants? Eh, it must be new in town if you're asking me about the water merchants. Water is life, and if you don't get much more... And you don't get much more powerful than life and death. Um, what can you tell me about Decker? Mr. Decker is a distinguished businessman in a less than distinguishable distinguished business. Anything else? What kind of business? And if there's anything that involves misery and suffering in the hub, Decker either controls it or wants to control it. Anything else? Do you know anything about the missing caravans? Terrible business, those poor people. Oh, those poor people, losing their lives in such a ghastly way. Is there anything else I can do for you? Like, feed you, perhaps? Uh, anything interest? anything happening in the hub? Well, the only new thing is that the children of the cathedral have taken over the hospital. It's pretty boring around here lately. Anything else? Uh, barter? You just have it one on the stick. Not sure if that heals you. I think we need to talk about Doc Morbid and some of your secret ingredients. What are you talking about? Your secret ingredients. How fresh does the corpse have to be before it develops a bitter aftertaste? Do you use mutant part, mutants, humans, or a mix? I found an invoice in Doc Morbid's lair. An invoice for dead bodies. You've got a memory loss. I can talk to the sheriff. Prime choice select is made of people. It's made of people! <laughs> oh, that's great. If you've got a memory loss, I can talk to the sheriff. It, 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 don't do that. Uh, f fine, I, I've been using some questionable portions. Uh, but it's not like I'm committing murder. Doc Morbid's stuff is already dead, isn't it? Cannibalism is a crime against humanity, Bob. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna see that you pay for it. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't care. I want a piece of the action. Ooh, probably should have saved. Oh, wait a minute. We've got to find a, reach a way to reach a mutual agreement. Understanding. Fine, what can I get out of this? Fine, what do you want me to pay? I want 200 bucks every five days. I don't think I'll do that. Fine, it's a deal. 200 bucks, do every five days. I guess I'll see you in five. Well, you gain 500 experience points.
Guns? Guns? Best shot. Oh, Ian. Ian. No, no, don't, don't you get in the way, dog meat. Thank you. You see guard for the Fargo Traders. Oh, I guess this is Beth. This is a weapon shop. It's run by Beth. She's good for guns, but better for gossip. All right. Hi there. How can I help you? Um... How does someone make money around here? Well, I'm not hiring, but there's a job post at the center of the merchant market. You might want to check there. All right, thanks. Uh, is there any place in town I should avoid? Oh, yes. You ought to stay far away from the Maltese Falcon as you possibly can. Decker and his greasy lapdog cane are bad news. Killer cane? They'll eat you alive if you're not careful. I'd also give Lorenzo at the Friendly Lending Company a wide berth. Uh, can I ask you some questions? Of course you can. Don't be silly. Uh, what's the word on the street about the missing caravans? Some people think the water merchants are responsible, but I don't think so. I think it was that darn Deathclaw, or maybe the people over at the Brotherhood of Steel. Why don't you think it's the water merchants? Because, like I've been telling everyone, they've had a few caravans disappear too. Nothing like what's happened to the Fargo traders, but they are being affected. Well, it could be lying, or it could be part of their plan to make you believe them. Good thought, but I highly doubt it. They've been sabotaging each other for years, but this is not their style. They wouldn't spend that much money to take out the caravans. Plus, all the caravans are very heavily, heavily guarded. You would think someone would escape. They don't have the manpower or the cash to pull that off. There would have been at least one survivor. Yeah, but why would it happen to the Fargo traders more than the others? Bad luck? I don't know. Maybe they're traveling along different routes than the others. Maybe because they aren't as heavily guarded as a Crimson Caravan, but they might have better cargo than the water merchants. Who knows? There doesn't seem to be any clear difference between the three. You never stop talking, do you? Another question about the mer missing merchants. Uh, what exactly is a Deathclaw? The Deathclaw is the most evil thing to rise out of the ashes after the war. Some say it's a powerful ghost from the war that haunts the land. It's no ghost. It's as real as you or I. It's 20 feet tall with teeth as big as your arms. It's some kind of demon that found its way here when the world was engulfed in fire. Crazy. I should just end your misery right here and now. Do you know anything else about the Deathclaw? Well, I know this old mutant in Old Town named Harold. He's seen it. He's the only one who had seen it and lived. The only one that's seen it and lived? Uncle Slappy over in Old Town talks about it sometimes, but he's just a crazy old fool. Okay, uh, let's see. Know anything else? Uh, yeah, sure, and I'm the Death Claws mommy. Wow, do you know where it is? Yeah, pretty amazing, isn't it? It's down to the southwest somewhere. There's an old mutant in Old Town named Harold who actually saw this thing in its lair. Nicest skag I know. Anyone else you know who might have some information about the Deathclaw? Nope. Alright. Uh, why do you think it was the Brotherhood of Steel? Why don't you know? I heard they make human sacrifices and do all sorts of other terrible things. Really? I had no idea. You never know what a person's really like behind closed doors. You've got to be careful with who you associate yourself with. Was there anything else you needed? Uh, let's get back to the merchants. Well, there are three main merchant groups. There's the Water Merchants, the Crimson Caravan, and the Fargo Traders. They also run the, the City Council. What do you want to know? Uh, or what do you want to know about? Water Merchants. They're in charge of all the water. Greedy people. I wouldn't want to work for them. Their pay is the worst, and their jobs are just as bad. Do they always control all the water? No, from what I heard a while back, a group of merchants seized control of the water tower and proclaimed that they were the water merchants and people had to get water from them. The merchant war raged for years and years until a man named Roy Green, yeah, Justin's grandfather, that's it, helped to negotiate an agreement that ended the war. What kind of agreement? Well, he set up the city council and set a limit on the price of water. Personally, I think they should have beat the tar out of them. Oh, sorry, I mean they should have showed them who's boss. Great, I didn't quite need that much information, but thanks just the same. 
Another question about the merchants. Uh, let's talk about the Crimson Caravan. The Crimson Caravan are a bunch of crazy people. They'll do any job, no matter what the risk. I'm surprised they aren't missing more caravans than, than they are. They're missing caravans too? Actually, all the merchants have had a few caravans disappear. The Fargo traders ju are just unlucky, I suppose. How risky. They'll pass right through an area known to be attacked by raiders. They charge a lot so they can hire extra hands. The pay's great, but you have to be uh, alive to spend it, right? Uh, Fargo traders? The Fargo traders pay well and their jobs aren't too deadly. Butch owns the shop, owns this shop, and a good man. Uh, a good man. They're fair and let me do as I please with, with the place. I like working with them. Plus, you get a discount at, on anything you buy here if you work for Butch. Uh, city council? There are six representatives, two from each of the main merchant groups. Everything needs at least four votes to be passed. They can never agree on anything. Alright, thank you. Uh, let's see, I have something to sell. 15% discount. Okay, so you've got metal armor. Uh, you see club. Spears, sledgehammer, pistols, brass knuckles, frag grenades, 10 millimeter SMG, 223 full metal jacket, combat knife, lots of caps. No pistol ammo, though. That's a little bit frustrating. Alright, well, uh, let's see if she has anything else. If I go with straight barter, same thing. All right. Uh, what do you have here? Oh, it's not like Killian's shop then. in any of these things? Nope. Nothing to tax. Alright, uh, I'm going to uh, do some trading. Um, number one, to get all of her caps. Might get her ammo for uh, the rifle. Um, but, uh, yeah, when we come back, um, I will have sold some stuff and traded some stuff and... Yeah, gotten anything else that she might have interesting. See you next time, everyone.